In today's tutorial, I want to share with you how to make use of pie chart. Okay, how to design and play around with your pie chart within a data. So first of all, let's understand why do we need a pie chart in our data analysis. So pie chart is actually used to showcase the relationship between a particular data with respect to the rest of the data. The relationship of a particular data with respect to the rest of the data. I repeat just that. It's as simple as that. So for example, let's take a look at this monthly income of a family, monthly family income. So these are members of a given family and each one of them has a given uh, amount that he earns on monthly basis. Maybe they work in a different ex establishments, but this is their take home every month. I put a total at the bottom of it all. So they all made 49,700 any unit, maybe ringgit or naira or dollars. So at this point, we want to plot a pie chart of this whole data. So to plot this pie chart, all we need to do is to select to select the data or complete, including the title without the total, because when you include the total, it's going to scatter the whole pie chart. But for now, we, we select the title. Why we select the title is for the pie chart to be able to identify and name the title accordingly. Okay, so these are the names and these are the amounts each and every one of them. Earn. So by selecting the data, the next thing we need to do is to come to insert over here and we can come all the way to the pie chart over here. You can see pie chart inside pie chart or donut chart. So click on this small drop down to see a complete range of charts that we can insert. You can uh, at the beginning, we can insert a 2D chart, which we can see of different types. OK, and we can have 3D pie charts. And then down here we have donut chart so we can easily use it for our liking. And we can have more pie chart option also by clicking on more pie chart option. We have a bunch of other options to navigate and select from. So for example, we have this 3D pie chart. We just have a preview of what we are going to work with and then we select anyone accordingly. All right. So for now, we stay with uh, 3D pie chart. OK, I think it kind of looks cool. So let's go with 3D pie chart. And I think it can be kind of too big. We can try to minimize the size so that it can look much better. All right. So this is the chart and we can see it has distributed the, the data based on the given names. Okay. The names of the people who participated in this chart. Okay. We have Aminu, we have Ishaq, we have Abubakar, we have Gali, we have Tanimu and all with their own very basic color to represent their own share of the total amount. So once the next thing we need to pay attention to is anytime we double, we select the pie chart, we notice that there are two things that come on. We have the chart design and we have the chart format, chart design and the chart format. So at the chart design, there are a number of things that we can do. For example, at the top left here, we can add chart elements. Okay. Right now it looks kind of too plain, but we can add elements from here. But when we come to add chart elements, we can see this drop down. We can click on it and we can add uh, click on chart title right now it's set to this amount we can click on no chart title or we can bring it to above chart just like the way it is or we can make it centered and i think i don't like that so we can make it above chart and i think it kind of looks cool so another thing we can add is we can add data levels okay we can make it at none as it is right now, the data levels is set to none because we, can, we cannot see any data representing Aminu, representing Sani, representing Sadiq. We cannot see all that. And we can bring in the data. Uh, we can have it centered just like the way we have, but I think it doesn't look cool. We can have it inside. We can have it outside also representing and we can have it best fit. We can have it best fit on each of the showcasing each of the data. Right, and we can do uh, have it as a, co a data call out. Right, but we can have more data level options also from here, and we can check it from here where we have the the fill uh, option, we have the shadow option, the effects option, the shadow option, and then we have the sizing and we have the chart options. We can play around with all these uh, if we want. We can enable the legend key, okay, and we can see it clearly. We can enable series name if you want, okay, but I think that kind of looks too jumpy and. We can enable a series of things over here. We can have a separator. We can enable separator and we can have separator by semicolon period or new line. 
okay so feel free to try all this uh, for now we are going with best fit i think it kind of makes it looks cool to have everything within the best fit and everyone's uh, data is being highlighted and so that is about add element charts we can also come over here and add legend so right now we don't have legend defining all these names and the amounts they earn so we can check out this is none and we can have it to the right okay we can see it uh position to the right we can have it at the top we can have it at the left and we can have it at the bottom as well the way we have it earlier on you can check out uh, for more other options but i think at the right kind of looks cool and makes it much more professional so we'll go with uh, having it at the right so i think we can click out this and this one i think one of the things that we can do is we can have our chat title clearly defined not just having it as just amount so we can select it and call it uh, monthly family income right and we can click out and we can see uh, we can uh, make it centered if you want or we can click to draw or we can select it and move it around okay until it is centered all right i think the position kind of looks cool and with the features that we have i think it looks kind of fantastic but still we are on the selection we can come all the way back we can have quick layout also uh after these uh, add chart elements we have quick layout where we can have the charts to represent different forms you can have them like this we can have them like this and we can have them positioned like this and we can have them like this as well and we can have them as well showcasing each name with the features okay and then we can have it at this point also and i think i kind of like it this way we can go with this if you want let me if you if you allow me we'll go with this and then we can choose also we can have we can change colors from here once we click on this we can see we can change the color as we hover over any color we can see it changes the whole thing so what happens is actually these are not really real colors they are palettes okay so when we want to select when we are cool with any color it goes in with all the other colors directly okay so when we choose we want something that is bluish and dark bluish and maybe more ash color we can go with this uh, without the yellow or red highlighted we can go with this but then i think this one kind of looks cool but i think we can go with this also it kind of looks much better and fantastic so we can select any palette color and we can click on ok to select it and right now we are getting closer and much better to what we want so we can still come back we are still on the channel design and over here we have different kind of channel styles pie chart styles chart styles so you can click on the drop down to see more but then as we hover over our chart we can see the, ch the chart is changing to different kind of forms if you want to take a look at them in that way you can see they are changing and depending on what you want you can easily easily select any of them to fit your content to fit your pie chart to define your chart with it so for example i choose to go with this and i think it kind of looks fantastic and cool and it makes our chart kind of look much more professional so still on that we can still come back and we don't need this and we can see you can switch rows and columns within the chart we can switch rows and columns if you want and we can select another data maybe you want to plot another chart we can easily do that with this select another data we can change the chart type assuming maybe we don't want to use this we don't want to plot this as a pie chart we can click on this to select another chart type that we want okay for example we can have maybe pie of pie okay we can see this is pie of pie showing extracting a given set of data showing their relevance with related to the bigger picture or the bigger chart okay so maybe you can select this and if you are interested in we can select this and make it our chart okay so this is pie of pie feel free to take a look at it and take a deeper look at it and see what it does this is chart type and you can move the chart this chart to another chart okay to another sheet for example you can click on this and right now it is on this sheet too we can move it to sheet one okay we can create a new sheet and we can move this chart to that sheet okay and you can see it has created a new sheet and it has moved it to that particular sheet when we come back to sheet two you can see we don't have this that chart we've just looked at the chart design so let's try to take a look at the chart format this is the format and over here you can bring in different you can insert shapes to this chart you can change you can bring in you can insert different kind of shape styles maybe you can play around with the background styles for example once you click you can see as we hover over the styles it keeps changing in the chart background you can check you can see the changes and you can select any one of it if you so wish to make it your default chart 
So for example, you can select on this and you can see it has changed the whole background and the content theme as well. So you can still double click and come back to format and we have the option to change the shape feel. Okay, you can change the shape feel as you navigate. You can see it is changing accordingly, according to the, the color that we are selecting. You can see it is changing and I think this kind of looks cool uh, with regards to what we have. You can even change the shape outline. Uh, you can have the outline and you can change the thickness of the outline okay you can make it something much bigger and maybe you can select the color of the outline to be maybe something like red even though i think it doesn't kind of looks much better but i think these are some of the things that you can do to make it quite look better and interesting you can bring in 3d effect you can, can put in some glow you can put in some other uh, advanced features over here you can make it look kind of fantastic and as you hover over it you can see the preview of how your data is going to look like over here you have what art style if you want to add what art or you have other selection pane and other features that you want to put in so feel free to take a look at the other features if you're interested in them for example the accessibility and arrangement uh, of the features you can check check that and the sizing as well so once you're done with your pie chart i have one more feature that i think i can i want to show you that it's quite interesting when it comes to using pie chart the first one is uh, many people are not aware quite aware that you can actually blow a pie chart okay you can blow it up into different pieces for example you can double click on this piece and you can move it out okay and so that you can have a better description of it you can double click on this to move it out Okay, you can blow it uh, to, into pieces. You can see we've just blown it out. So for ease of recognition, so people can easily see the percentages and how and what and what they represent or they stand to represent within the data that we have. So blowing it out can help you even let your people understand or your audience understand much better what your chart is all about. And additionally, we can right click. Another last feature is we can right click on the pie chart and we have a lot of other features that we can play around with. For example, you can delete the chart you can reset to match the style you can reset if you are not certain or you're uncomfortable with what you have changed you can always reset it to match the style and you can change the series type from here or you can select a given data to add to this or you want to plot in a different chart using a different set of data down here you have format levels format data levels you can also do that and in addition to the way you can do from the ribbons okay you can check out the format data series also from here at the side of the chart also you had this plus sign you can change around tip uh, play around with the data levels chart titles and legends as well okay and you have other features like the filter features you can filter by name you can filter by you can have other features also like the chart style you can bring in different kind of styles you can test them over here and you can enable accordingly so feel free to try it feel free to plot your charts if you have a given data that is relative that you want to compare from a particular data with respect to the whole data pie chart is a good op option to go for in cases when you have multiple data that you don't want a total comparison then pie chart is not a good candidate for that okay so watch out and try your best to see what and what method or what feature do you think will best describe your data and at this point i think pie chart will do an excellent job for describing this very data ladies and gentlemen this is about pie chart what it is and what it does to our data if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video bye